Hi, I'm Fabio, and welcome to a new research paper summary by martechpost.com. In today's video, I want to show you how these researchers from the University of Oxford have been able to model objects in three dimensions using their 2D pictures. So, the goal of the project was to learn 3D models from deformable objects given their 2D pictures. But the researchers put some constraints on how they could have solved the problem. First, they explicitly wanted to solve an unsupervised uh, problem. So no ground truth or external supervision was given. In fact, it is expensive and challenging to label a big data set for this purpose. Second, the algorithm must be trained using a single view per image. The target model would be then an algorithm capable to return a 3D shape using a 2D single view image as input. The goal reduces them to find a function that maps the image to these four factors, the depth, the light direction, the albedo, and the viewpoint. The neural network, which is in here the function, is then trained to return these, these four factors and using them to reconstruct the image. The image is reconstructed using a lightning function, which uses the albedo, the depth, and the enlightening, and the reprojection function. The, the model is optimized, is trained to uh, reconstruct an image which is closer to the original one. The output of the lining function is uh, said to be a shaded canonical view. In the paper is indicated with the letter J. But the key idea of this paper is that many object categories are literally symmetric, which means that the asymmetries that we see in the dataset arise from shape deformation, asymmetric albedo, or asymmetric illumination. Thanks to this observation, we are able to introduce a new reconstructed image, computed as before, but with the, the albedo and the depth flipped through an horizontal axis or a vector, vertical axis. The model is then optimized to uh, reconstruct both images be, uh, closer to the real one. In this uh, slide, you can see the schema of the model architecture. You can see on the top left corner the original image. F from it, uh, the model extracts the view, the depth, the light, and the albedo. On the bottom right on the corner, you can see the canonical, the shaded canonical view, which is composed using the albedo, the light, and the depth. The canonical view is then uh, introduced as input to the renderer, which takes the canonical view, the view, uh, and the depth to reconstruct the image. The two, uh, ima the two reconstructed images are produced thanks to flipping the depth and the albedo, as you can see in the schema. The shaded region here uh, of the uh, model architecture is uh, another component of the model. In particular, this component aims to estimate the, for each pixel of the image a confidence score that explains the probability of the pixel having a symmetric counterpart in the image. In this slide, you can see the wall architecture of the model. The results are impressive. You, you can see in this picture that the, the model is able to reconstruct a 3D model from a 2D images of face, human faces, cats, and even cars. Are you enough impressed by those results? If yes, leave a like on this video and see you in the next one with a new research paper summary by marktechpost.com.